International Club, Friday, December 16th. Want to mentally escape from Appleton? Come to the International Club on Friday, December 16th during Flex. Sign up for Ms. Rivera's Flex. This is a great opportunity to chat about World Cup soccer, meet international students, snack on international foods, and discuss international topics. All are welcome. Some students are having trouble finding the place to fill out our new electronic library pass for study hall and lunch passes to the library. The pass can be found in class link. It's called Library Pass. Select your hour and fill out your name, then show your email receipt to your study hall teacher. We actually have two contests going on in the library right now. You can win the large stuffed duck on the counter or even a $10 Dairy Queen gift card. You can win this by coming up with the best speech bubble for a specific picture. For more information, head down to the library for information on how to enter. Attention all freshmen! The Easterners Choir of Appleton East High School invites you to attend Snowball, the all-city freshman winter formal. The dance takes place on Saturday, January 7th, 2023 from 7 30 to 10 p.m in the east high school commons this year's theme is a fireside formal tickets will be on sale after winter break for, and during the lunch hours only freshmen are allowed to purchase tickets and all students must be in good standing regarding detentions in order to attend so get them served come celebrate the new year in style with a night of dancing and fun It's not too late to make a gift for yourself or someone else during Flex as part of our 12 days of gift making in the library. If you can't make it during Flex, you can stop down during the day or after school Candy to canes make will an be item. sold during 4th, 5th, and 6th hour lunches starting Wednesday, December 14th through Christmas break. They'll be two for a dollar or one for 50 cents. Benefits go to the Sources of Strength program. Gaming news, Rocket League and Fortnite players are needed. So please join us in 1407C on Tuesday for real December 13th to get important information. See Ms. McAloon if you have any questions. We are also looking for Overwatch players. Bring a friend, know someone from a different school that you'd like on your team, let us know. This tournament allows for players from different schools. Now please congratulate the Northeast boys swim team who took sixth at a meet in Plymouth last Saturday and ninth at the Terror Relays. In Plymouth, they scored 206 points, and shoutouts go to Matt's Riddlehover for bringing in 23.5 points, and Nick Hall for bringing in 10 points, and of Caleb Gray with a point in the 100 yard freestyle. At the Terror Relays, they scored 118 points, and shoutouts go to Nick Hall, Cal Warwick, Matt's Riddlehover, and Eli Aw for taking fourth in the 400 medley relay. Be sure to wish them luck as they compete tomorrow at Oshkosh West. Hi, Appleton East Patriots. I'm Mrs. Van Fossen and I'm one of our associate principals. And I'm very excited to give out this year's first Patriot Pride Award. Um, so some students have been getting these postcards from their teachers. This is just to acknowledge how awesome we think you are and how great we think we're doing. So I am going to pick a name out of this bowl and I would like Haley Zhang to come down to Student Services and pick out a prize. Thank you to Haley and to all of you Patriots who are doing great work here at Appleton East. Have a great day. Good morning, Appleton East. We have some December updates for you. First up, Mrs. Van Fossen, that's me, and I have a few things that I want to talk to you about in order to continue to make Appleton East the type of school and community that we want to be a part of. Today we're going to talk about using passes appropriately, getting to class on time, and reporting inappropriate behavior or inappropriate and, un and unsafe things. First, you need to have a pass while in the hallway during a non-passing time. That pass should only be used to go to the location that you told to the teacher. Using passes in the hallways first helps us ensure that the majority of students are in classes taking care of business, and second, ensures that those that are in the hallways are allowed to be there. Next up, getting to class on time. When students don't get to class on time, it disrupts the learning of those students and of all their classmates. So please be respectful of your time, your classmates' time, and the time of your teachers to get to class. 
Remember, three unexcused tardies will result in a detention. Finally, please report things that are unsafe. Unfortunately, we've been seeing some vandalism and unsafe behavior in our bathrooms. We take pride in our school and want you to as well. So help us work together to keep East great by reporting any vandalism or unsafe behavior such as fighting. Not only is this a request, but it's also an expectation. If you see a fight or a video of one, it's expected that you report this. If you do not, you may receive consequences as well because you would be contributing to making East unsafe. Everyone deserves to feel safe at school and we need you to help us make a community where this is true by reporting things. You can do this by using one of the three options. <clears throat> First up, you could submit a SUSO report. This is totally anonymous. Um, you would just search Speak Up, Speak Out Wisconsin in your app store, download the app, and submit information when you see something that shouldn't be happening here at East. Another option is to just tell a teacher or a trusted staff member. Finally, you can always report the information to student services. Step on down and talk to me, Mrs. V, or Mr. DeLong, and we will investigate. Patriots, if you see something, say something. Let's work together to make East great. Have a great day. Now you're going to hear from Mrs. Waters about some scheduling updates. Patriots, it is hard to believe that we are already at the point of the year where we will begin talking about classes you want to take for next school year. So if you are a senior homeroom, you are welcome to keep listening, but most of the upcoming information will not apply to you. We have many opportunities throughout the next month to explore course offerings and really think about what courses align with your goals after high school. It will be important to pick classes that not only fulfill the high school graduation requirements, but also align with college and career readiness goals. The link in this slide takes you to the district graduation requirements. You need 23 credits to graduate from high school. These requirements include four credits of ELA, three credits of science, three credits of social studies, with one of those credits being civics, three credits of math, a half a credit of health, one and a half credits of PE, with a half a credit of that being your freshman PE, which is now called Fit For You, one full credit of fine arts, a half a credit in personal financial manage management, also called PFM, and six and a half other elective credits. You will also find linked on this slide the updated course guide for the next school year. This guide shares all the courses we offer to meet those graduation requirements. This guide also shares prerequisites or grade level requirements for certain courses. For the next several weeks during advisory, you will be watching videos created by different departments here at East. These videos share important information about the classes they offer. We have created a worksheet that is linked in these slides and it can be found on Canvas as well. The worksheet outlines which graduation requirements you need to complete each year you are at East. As you are watching the videos, take notes on classes that sound interesting to you. Even if you are a freshman learning about a course that you cannot take until junior year, write that course information down so you have those notes for the future. Additionally, departments at East will be offering flex options during the week of January 3rd through the 6th. If you want to learn more about classes offered within a department, please sign up for their flex. Explore Night is scheduled for January 9th from 6 to 7.30. This event is for all families and we invite you all to come. There will be an informational session by grade level as well as club, sport, and department booths to learn more about all you can learn and do at East. January 2nd through 20th in your classes, teachers will be talking about courses their department offers and pathways that those courses can take you. These conversations are to prepare you for January 23rd. Welcome back! It will be the first day of semester two. During advisory, you will complete a credit tally activity to look at what credits you have earned and what are still needed towards graduation requirements. You will also receive your scheduling worksheet where you will begin the course selection process for next school year. Throughout that week, you will take your scheduling worksheet to classes with you and teachers will sign the sheet if they agree with the selection you are making for that department. We want to make sure you are taking the right leveled courses for math, ELA, science, etc. Please take a picture of your worksheet on your phone in case you lose it. Next, the worksheet goes home for a family discussion. Please have a parent or guardian sign it. 
When you return on Monday, January 30th, the worksheet is due in advisory. You will then use the worksheet to enter your selections into Infinite Campus. All week of January 31st through February 3rd, we will have advisory instead of flex. Advisors will be checking in with each student about the selections they have input into Infinite Campus. I know this is a lot of information, but what we want you to know is it is time to start thinking about your schedule for next year, and we are here to help. Have a great day, Patriots!